come to the viewers now we discuss uh, single species population discrete time model now many organisms this bath occurs at regular that's a breeding seasons and specially for the cases of rabbit breedings and this contradicts our earlier assumption that bath occurs continuously and in this chapter we shall consider populations with a fixed interval generations and possibly fixed interval between measurement we shall describe uh, here we shall describe the population size by the sequence yn and with y0 at time t0 that means the initial conditions and for the next generation that will be given by y1 is given by y1 the y1 is then y1 is the next generation at time t1 so y2 at the next generation of y1 at time t2 and so on So for uh, we, this as um, using these assumptions always be that the population size at each stage is determined by the population size of the past generations. But this population sizes between generations are not needed. Usually the time interval between generation is taken to be constant. So we use time interval. taken to be constant as for example the population changes only through births and death sub let us suppose the population change with birth and death then yn plus 1 minus yn that will be given by birth rate minus death rate into xn taking it equation number yn sorry it is yn and taking it equation number 1 where byn is number of birth rate and dyn number of death rate therefore we find finally yn plus 1 equals to if we changing our side of yn in this equation so we get 1 plus b minus d into yn if we take it as r yn where r is equal to 1 plus b minus d and this r is a parameter a parameter of the first order linear homogeneous equation but here if we consider here this equation is a linear homogeneous equations and with initial conditions if we find uh, y of t0 is equal to y0 
and in general we write the first order difference equations for the general case generally generally first order difference equation it is not differential equation that's a linear homogeneous uh, actually uh, it is a linear homogeneous difference equation which type of equation is this that is difference equation but in the earlier stage in the earlier video if we consider the single species population for continuous time model then this equation was the differential equation but here we find difference equation now generally first order difference equation can be written as yn plus 1 equals to phi of yn we, where we find that condition accessory with uh, y of t0 is equal to y0 initial condition this is a uh, in such equation of the new value of y is determined completely by the previous value now we consider the logistic difference equations Let yn be the size of population uh, of, spe of a certain species at Tn if r be the rate of growth. But here 1 minus b plus d, this term we used. 1 minus 1 plus b minus d this term is rate of growth this r is called rate of growth or parameter so rate of growth from generous rate of growth of population from generation to generation that's very important in the term of prospect of difference equation we use successive relationship and therefore uh, from yn plus 1 equals to r yn with y of t0 that is y0 we find here for n equals to 0 y1 that is r y0 if we uh, take it as r, r y0 then for n equals to 1 then it is y2 for r y1 and y1 is R y 0 so R y 0 we find that is R square y 0 so in this way we find finally y n equals to R n y n for the successive relationship for the iteration by the method of iteration so by simple iteration therefore finally we find the solution y n equals to R 0 uh, yn equals to rn yn one sorry it is a rn y0 not yn actually it is by mistake yn equals to rn y0 by simple iteration process now the solution if r is greater than 1 and as n tends to infinity therefore r to the power n tends to infinity therefore the population increases infinitely if r equals to 1 then y n equals to y 0 that is population stays constant forever and if r is less than 1 and n tends to infinity then 
limit as n tends to infinity r to the power n that will be 0 therefore y n equals to uh, taking limit as n tends to r to the power n 0 into um, 0 into y 0 for r is less than 1 we case following the cases that is 0 so the population extinct eventually now we discuss the idea of single species population for discrete time model and logistic difference situations we end our discussions if you like this video like it share it subscribe the channel thanks for watching